My name is Lindsay. I'm from a tiny town in Louisiana called Baskin, and I'm Julie Smith's daughter. My mom has always been an entrepreneur at heart. She was scrolling social media one day and found the Monate products from a stranger, tried them out, and absolutely loved them. It totally changed her hair. She researched everything, the ingredients, how they worked. She could tell anyone about all of our products in our company. I know Julie because she contacted me to basically support her in her business. She was kind of a lone ranger, kind of deep down in my organization, but I noticed her right away because she she did really well in the business, um, but she was independent. She never really needed the help. When you would meet her, I think you'd be shocked that she was so genuine and nice. She was consistent across the board. As a mom, as a wife, as a businesswoman, she shined bright no matter what she did. Mom was able to create a career where she could stay at home, enjoy her home life, her grandkids, her daughters. She never missed a moment. She cooked every meal, yet she was on the phone and instructing, doing events, and doing amazing things with her business all at the same time. When she saw the impact that it really had on people, she was so inspired to do more than just tell people about the products. She always saw the best in people. If she saw something good in you, she was going to bring it out of you. All the times that we would have events, I would be petrified, and she would just push, and she stretched me into being more confident in front of people. Julie taught people how to connect with the heart, not through a number, not through sales. The products make people feel amazing, but Julie made you feel amazing. She wanted to know all about you. Where you're from, what do you do, what's your career now, how many kids do you have? So she knew better how to help them. What's your why? Why do you want this opportunity? And she would really personalize each person's business and it was a huge success. And one of my favorite memories with mom are the events that we experience with Monate. There's not a lot of times that a mother and daughter get to go travel, see the world and be treated like queens. It was so much fun. I just remember her just soaking up these trips. We would sit in the front at the tables and watch people get recognized and all this stuff, and she was so genuinely happy for everybody, even if she didn't know them. One time we were sitting at the table, and Julie Stevens had just gotten Million Dollar Club, and she looked at all of us at the table, and she said, we're going to be up there one day. And she looked at us, she said, we're going to be up there one day. She really wanted you to succeed and be good at what she was teaching you. She wanted everybody to do as good as her, if not better than her. I remember driving home in the car with her and her telling me, Lindsay, I need to tell you something important. And she told me that she was diagnosed with cancer. In my darkest moment, I felt terrified. I felt like there's no way that I could lose one of the most important people to me. She went through surgeries and treatments and bad diagnoses after bad diagnoses. She was afraid, but she never wanted anybody to know that she was afraid. She wanted everyone to know your faith is bigger than your fear and you can overcome whatever it is that you're scared of. When we found out that she was sick, rather than getting down or letting it be a black cloud. She was even more positive and even more believing and trusting and knowing. I'm sure she did have bad days, but she didn't, you didn't see it. In the moment where my mom was passing, I realized my biggest life lesson from her. Your family, your faith, and your outlook on life was the most important thing. At the end of all this, that's all that matters. She reached so many and impacted so many lives because of her positivity during her last weeks and months. Lord, we are so very thankful, Lord, for this amazing gift that you gave us in the form of Julie Beatty Smith. She just had such a big heart for people, and that's why she found so much success is because she always invested in people, and she taught me that. She really lived out loud. Just to be able to bridge the gap of, of culture, faith, community in just a way that um, I think will live on forever. I'm so thankful to you, Julie. You paved the way for us. Thank you for being the greatest leader that we could have ever had. Thank you for befriending me and 
thank you for living your life as a testimony. I am so proud of her for reaching the Million Dollar Club. I miss you, my friend, and I wish you were here physically, but I know in my heart that you are here in spirit. Congratulations to Julie. I know you are smiling down from heaven right now. You made it, Julie. You said that you would, and you did. Julie, I love you so much, and I think about you every single day. And thank you for everything that you did and continue to do. Prayers never die, and love lives forever. Thank you so much for being such a wonderful mom. Thank you so much for teaching me how to be a businesswoman, how to respect and love others. Thank you for being so strong and teaching me to be a strong, independent woman. Without you, I would have never gotten through this experience. I love you so much. I'll see you again soon.